Hi guys and welcome to Jazz Journey. Thank you for selecting this video. If this is your first time, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget that at the end of this video or in the, while you're watching the video, if you really like this video, you're enjoying it, you can give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be sharing with you a tutorial um, uh, as how I did this eye makeup look and all inspired by the Disney Princess Jasmine. And I'm so excited and happy to be part of it. I feel like uh, it was a fun take for you to recreate something totally that you'll be like should i do it should i not do it and i'm happy that beauty obsession actually came up with this idea and many uh, people are coming together to actually recreate a makeup look inspired of a disney character and i know it does take you back uh, i really love the princess jasmine well my name is jasmine so um uh, but i really I like when this i remember when this movie came out i was a teenager and um i mean one of my favorite characters i even i st i had the sticker not till like a few years back it was abu i really like the monkey even though he was from the bad side uh but i really like the monkey the genie i every character actually i remember now i had the bedroom set with the princess jasmine and had like the lion uh because that was her pet uh, but the colors were not purple it were kind of like a salmon color and a touch of purple because purple was my favorite color so it does take me back and i don't know why i didn't do this before or i wasn't even thinking of doing this princess character i actually came about because i was in one of the live chat and um they were talking about the collab briefly and um Casey she said jazz you should be princess jasmine and I'm like oh my god I don't know if I should be able to do it because uh, there was another collab that it was the day before so I really don't want to give my word and then um retrace my step and and then not do it because um editing does take a while before you come together and sometimes you may have an idea in your mind but as you're creating it it may not come out the same way so you really want to be careful and so that's why I was like taking back should I do it should I not do it that I'm so grateful I'm so happy that I'm a part of this collab too. So before I continue talking about it, and I'm pretty sure you have so many stories about Disney and maybe there's a, a character you could relate uh, as well that it takes you back when you saw that movie. If you wanna share in the, this, in the comment section, you could do that and tell me which one would have been the character you would have done. Tutorial. I'm just gonna give you a heads up to make this video shorter. I focus more on the eyes and everything else I did off camera like my makeup, my foundation, the powder, the lipstick. If you want to see how I recreated this look, just keep on watching. Snazzy and stunner, those two. See the brush is a little bit smaller. and start on the crease. Bigger brush, the blending bigger brush. I'm gonna start blending that from the top so it will look more softer as it creates that transition from the crease which is this dark shade which is applied on the crease so now i'm going to go with epic which is the other shade which is the darkest one that is matte on this palette using that same brush and i'm going to work more on this side first also still working on the crease
right guys welcome back as you can see i finished the rest of my makeup Let's continue with the look i'm gonna do the bottom of my eyes it's brown i think i should just go with a little blue so i'm gonna go back to the jacqueline hill palette and i'm going to put a little bit of this blue so with a angle soft brush i'm gonna start from the center oh i picked a lot of product but that's fine Apply some of that green with the shimmer, the one that I applied on the top. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start from the center and work. And for the corners, I think that's the fun part. Um, so I will use a pointy brush, the ones that sometimes say lip. I think it's perfect for this. So I'm going to use the same one to work the brow bone. I just want that same color it's so bright on the bottom i want it to be very consistent so i'm just going to apply the matte on top i'm going to apply mascara and so i could finish up this look and it will be the end of my tutorial and you will see my final results so just keep on watching also, uh, I hope you really enjoyed the tutorial and, and you enjoy uh, the little rambling that I shared at the beginning. Um, so if you stay tuned till the end of this video, I'm going to also talk to you about how I did this piece. It was very easy. I got this in Michaels and because Easter is so near, they actually had this on special. This one cost $4, but they had it on special. And I really love this color, but I'm pretty sure you could find this in maybe at the dollar store too. And I just put the ribbon. Once I tied it, uh, I left extra and then I wrapped this one around. You could continue doing the same thing because her hair is pretty long and she just puts a few bands of the same color to recreate the complete look. Uh, if Don't forget to, uh, I'm gonna share all the people that are participating on this, on this collab. And also don't forget to give a, a nice uh, shout out and support to um, obsessions a beauty obsession because she's the one who came up with this collab and also Casey because she's the one who really motivated me to do this theme so I hope you really enjoyed this video and if you did I invite you to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so I welcome you to subscribe to my channel to jazz journey so thank you so much for watching and until the next video bye